Hi Physics, it's Vista Fumato here with another lab video. This time I'm going to be showing you how to determine the focal length of your converging lens. So you're going to need to be outside for this and you want to be looking sort of in the direction of the sun. You're going to hold your lens up to the sun and I want you to notice that when you hold the lens up to the sun that actually it makes a shadow. Which is sort of a weird thing if you think about it because the lens is transparent so why should it make a shadow? That's the first observation to make. Now the second observation is to make is that when you bring the lens closer to the ground, the light will start to make a pinpoint. So I'm going to bring the lens closer and closer and closer to the ground, and then the shadow of the lens starts to get bright, and then the brightness becomes a pinpoint. Okay, When you have a pinpoint of light, that's telling you that this is called the focal point, and the distance between the focal point and the lens is called the focal length. That's the first thing you need to determine about your lens is its focal length. Have fun. Hello physics, here's a brief introduction to the lens lab. You're going to need candle, lens, a little ball of clay, some tape, you're going to need your measuring tape, you're going to need a straight edge and uh, something to write with and a piece of paper. Okay, why don't you gather all of those materials and let's get started. So the first thing I want you to notice is that I have taped down the measuring tape. You want to make sure that you do that with the following side up. So there's the inches along the top and the large numbers. And then in the smaller numbers down below are the centimeters and we're using the centimeters. So make sure that you have it in the correct uh, orientation and that it's taped down such that the 50 centimeter mark is going to be roughly near the center of your workspace. So you can see right here, you, you are welcome to uh, draw on the measuring tape, circle the 50 centimeter mark. Okay, and then let's begin. We're going to make a little holder for our lens. So we're going to roll the ball of clay and we're going to kind of make it nice and, you know, flat ish. That's going to be our, our lens stand. Then we take our straight edge and we line it up with the 50 centimeter mark here. And we want to just make sure that the lens, the center of the lens, is as close to that 50 centimeter line as possible. Your lens in the clay should be standing up quite straight. Okay? So again, your lens is along the 50 centimeter line uh, on, as, uh, in reference to your measuring tape. Now, the first experiment is to take your lit candle and, and uh, put it beyond 2F. So what does that mean beyond 2F? Well, in the first part of the experiment, you determined the focal length of this lens. The focal length for my lens is 10 centimeters. So what I've done on my measuring tape, so if my lens is at 50, my 1F will be 60, my 2F will be 70, and so my candle in my setup should be beyond 70 centimeter mark. So I light the candle and then I set up my view screen on the other side of the lens. The view screen is simply a piece of paper that's got a fold that's sort of a little bit off the center to one side. You're going to hold down the big side with your hand and then you're going to slide the view screen back and forth like that to find an image. Okay. Before I do that, though, I need to turn out the lights because uh, the images can be um, a little bit faint. So I'm going to take my uh, overhead camera and I'm going to orient it so that you can see what's happening at the view screen. So in this particular point of view, the uh, the lens is off. The, excuse me, the, the candle is off the off the field of vision. So you're looking down the lens into the view screen. So you take your, your view screen and you slide it back and forth until you notice some light. So you can see here that there's a little bit of light falling on the, um, on the view screen. That light will come to a focus if you find the right position. Look at that. 
when that candle is crystal clear on the view screen, that's what you call your image distance. Quick note, do not move the lens. Do not move the object, don't move the candle. Only move the view screen. And you wanna just kinda ever so gently rock back and forth until you get a nice perfect focus. Then you read off of your tape measure the location. So what that's gonna look like here, let me just bring the camera over. You can see that on my, um, on my tape measure, we are just beyond the uh, 28, uh, 38 centimeter mark. Anyways, this is the distance that, that you're gonna be reading along the tape measure, the distance between the lens and the view screen when the image is focused. Okay, let me uh, introduce you to the second uh, part of the experiment, which is just actually gonna be all of the future parts of the experiment. You're going to now move the candle to the other locations that the lab instructions tell you. For example, you're gonna move the candle in to 2F, okay? Notice that the image is now no longer in focus. So what do we do? We take our view screen, we slide it back and forth until we get a crystal clear focus, record that position uh, off of the tape measure into your notes. We move the candle again. We are now approaching F, so on you follow the directions here I want to make a quick note though when you are inside the focal length excuse me when the candle is inside the focal length there is no position that will bring the image of the candle to a focus at the view screen on the other hand if you look through the lens you can see an image a lens that will not focus on the view screen is called excuse me an image that will not focus on the view screen is called virtual. And to see the virtual image, you need to look through the lens. Okay, the last part is one of my favorite things in physics. And it has to do with bringing the candle back to a, a far distance, finding yourself a nicely focused image like such. And then the question has to do with what do you think might happen to that image if you cover part of the lens? So for example, the directions say cover it from the top or the sides and make a prediction and see what you see. I'm not gonna show you what happens, but I am gonna show you how to cover the lens. So basically you take, you take your hand and then you just kind of cover the top and go down from there. You come in from one side or the other side like that. That's how you block the lens. You can also use an index card. All right, have fun with the bottom.